We're gonna place our ward. We're gonna go back to base. This is to watch for a red invade from Countess or Salt for Sentry. Hello, welcome back to the channel. I'm Scratchy, and today we're gonna be doing a jungle crunch video where I talk about all of my decisions explained. Right now, I'm going up against the jungle countess, who has definitely one of the most annoying level one invades in the game. So I'm gonna try a little bit of a different clear where I do blue to two invade. Um, it's something I really like to do on characters that clear fast. Specifically, crunch is pretty good at it, and I think that I can get it off versus the countess. The countess does have pretty fast clear, so we're gonna see. Hopefully, this goes well. Well, um, and I'm gonna show you guys how I like to do this kind of a, a thing so I like to take a mobility ability whenever I do it because I'm trying to get over there very quickly and I'm also gonna sweep right here so hopefully I'm not spotted out and I can just go for this uh, invade very quickly so I can see that she got she didn't start her red so she might have gone through and started my my red or she started her blue so this is something to consider when doing this invade because I know that she doesn't have this side of the jungle up. So I could just do a full vertical jungle here and take all of her jungle while she's either taking some of my red side thinking I started blue or um, you know whatever the case may be. But I'm either trading with her or I'm getting ahead of her right now. Um, and actually it looks like she just showed up in the duo lane. Yeah, I think I see her in the duo lane. So she started blue, most likely blue, and then did her three camp, went for a duo lane invade, or duo lane gank, and now I should be able to get ahead of her. Now, it's a little bit at the expense of my duo lane, but to be honest, I can't do anything about that anyways. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just look to clear this whole red side jungle and try to get ahead as much as possible. This could lead me to a Grux gank potentially, um, but we're gonna have to see. We're going to have to see what that looks like. Yeah, we're going to go in on the Grux here, because he's kind of all in my Greystone. Right, we're going to help shove that in, most likely. And what I want to do is I want to actually base, and I'm going to run to my red side. Now, some of my blue side is up, but I want to see if I can defend as much of my red side as possible. So I'm going to go ahead and buy the Spell Slasher, a very, very strong item to buy if we're first building Augmentation, which we are. Doesn't look like my five camp was taken based on the positioning of the Richter. I can see him on the map walking past my five camp. I know that my red is here, so it looks like I should just be ahead of her. She's probably going to look to be a little bit active here, though, because if she does end up stepping into her red side jungle, she's going to know that nothing is there. So seeing a little bit of activity in mid lane, I might be able to counter gank this if he needs help. So we're going to smite that down, and then she's going to actually step into her red side and find out that there's nothing actually there. So, um, again, she might look to get a little bit active on mid lane. I'm trying to predict her movements here because nothing is in her red jungle. So what I don't mind doing is I know that I'm ahead of her. I know that I have an item buy. I know that I'm strong. I'm actually going to look to potentially play off of her two side camp. Um, respawn timer. So she's probably going to be at her two camp coming up here soon. I'm going to go find myself there as well. <coughs> and actually, she might look, she might even cross over and look at my two camp and she's going to find that there's nothing there either. So I think that duo lane might be in a little bit of a gank position because they're playing a little bit forward, but she's kind of desperately looking for opportunities where I'm looking for guaranteed farm. So if she shows up in the duo lane, I'm going to do this invade again. And I'm gonna keep keep her farm down, and all she's she's essentially getting one fourth of the jungle economy, where I'm getting three fourths of it. So we're gonna take this down again. And again, my duo lane is kind of feeling the the downside of this a little bit, um, but the upside is that I am keeping the jungle out of the game. So it's kind of just like shifting a little bit of strength around. Um, I should be able to grab this five camp. Again, there could be a potential gank on the Grux here, but the Greystone did back, so it's most likely going to be me just grabbing this and maybe heading back to my blue side jungle. Hey, look, my first uh, wake-up alarms. Oh. All right, so feeling pretty good about that. We're getting a little bit of a roam from mid. We'll sweep this just because as I'm walking by it, Maybe give me a little bit of information. And then what I'm going to do is probably full clear my blue side here. So once I hit six, I'm going to get very active. I've given the Countess opportunities to be active almost out of necessity. Once I hit my six, I'm going to be very active. And in fact, I might even look to invade the, her red. So this is a pretty invade heavy game for me. Um, just based on the fact that I've kind of 
crafted the jungle in this way. So again, we're looking at her showing a mid at 26 farm to my 46 farm. I'm giving pressure to my laners by by doing this because I'm taking her out of her own jungle. And she might actually be looking at my two camp just based on her positioning. So what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to go look at my two camp. Because again, she can't fight me. So she might be sitting around waiting for my two camp. And there's not going to be anything here for her. Is she on my five camp? Not on my five camp, so I'm gonna take my two camp. All right. All right. We're gonna take this. We might look for a mid gank here now. Okay, again, have her on field a little bit. And what we can do is we can look to fight her. She might have seen me now. Okay, force the flash on that. So I know the flash is going to be at 11.48. And going for the red is a little too deep. I'm a little low. But we can go for this and potentially get out. Because I'm a little unsafe here. I'm very unsafe here. So we need to flash this. Unfortunately. Okay. She's actually just going to kill me. Okay. Good for her. He, she needed something. So maybe a little bit too much of an overextend for me to try to keep it going. I didn't think that they saw me or would think that I would go for that invade, but I gave her a little bit off of that to kind of get herself a little bit back in it. Um, now, best thing I could probably do is not give up any of my blue side jungle, and that sucks because I'm just shy of some of some big power spikes with like my level six and such. So let me go defend my blue side jungle, make sure I don't give up anything else, because she's probably going to be looking to, to find opportunities to get in my jungle to make up some of that deficit. I'm about to be level 6, and I'm about to get very, very active this game. Also, I should be able to hit my wild hunt very quickly as well. Great roam off mid. We have a Countess gank showing up in the duo. Alright, we're going to lift the show up here. Alright, big gank here. Counter gank. Big counter gank there. And now we're going to step into her jungle. I haven't seen her take her red. So I know that this is up. Now the Bellica is roaming over, but I'm going to try to stay on this theme of just like pulling the Countess out of the game. Pulling the Countess out of the game. Ah, she actually showed back up. Good for her. Good for her. Nice smite on her part. That was a good secure on her part. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to finish this pocket corner for camp, and we're probably going to go full farm my red side. I'm getting a little active, but it hasn't been super successful for me as of late, so we're going to just kind of stay ahead here. And I think, actually, no, we'll stay on field. We'll stay on field. If I could get my augmentation, I'd probably back, but... We're gonna grab this quickly. Again, we still have the Countess in the mid. Oh, careful. I wanna secure my farm. I don't want her to step in. Actually, I'll fight her. I'll fight her. Eh. Not working out great. Okay. We have a lot of people on this side of the map, so we gotta be careful. We can go for a knock up here on the Richter. Okay, good. On the Countess now. I do have a knockup for the Countess. Uh, I, I have to back up. Oh, I'm rewound by Wraith. Unfortunately, I'm definitely dead here. Okay, that was just a huge roam from their team. Huge roam from their team. All right, we'll grab our augmentation. We got a roam off of duo lane. Oh, and that got us a Grux kill. So both mids were able to roam. That sucks. That's a lot for their Wraith. That is quite a bit for their Wraith. I think he just has to leave this, to be honest. He's going to die here. I think he dies here. Oh my gosh, all they have to do is tank him. Alright, we're gonna go for our red side. Okay, well the Countess is like, honestly, kind of back into it. So, we held her down early, but it doesn't matter too, too much. That's unfortunate. Alright, we're just gonna grab my five because I'll be on the edge. Honestly, I probably could have gone for the raid. Just given the positioning. Tower is under attack. Pretty sure I hear him here. 
Nice. Should be able to catch him. Good. Good. Alright, I'll probably snag this gold. Alright, we're gonna swipe with that gold. That's gonna give me my wild hunt. I'm gonna go finish up my red side. Alright, how am I feeling this game? What do I want to build next? Honestly, I'm thinking maybe a Berserker Axe. don't know that I need a Mutilator or anything here. Just kind of staying ahead on farm. It's one of the big advantages of Crunch. I'm probably just going to full clear jungle here unless I see some opportunity here in the mid. See. Big damage on him? Okay. Alright, we'll back it up. Got some really solid damage on him. And honestly, I might even look for a two-camp invade here. I'm low, but I'm feeling it. We have so much pressure here at the moment. It's really not. Oh, I missed a knock-up on her. We're just gonna have to bounce out of this. No way. No way she actually sticks on that. That's super unlucky for me. That's super unlucky for me. That just did not go the way that I hoped. That did not go the way that I hoped. Honestly, against her, I'm starting to feel like she's getting a little crazy. I might go a Tainted Blade. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Counter build her a little bit where I don't feel like I usually need to. I'm kind of actually starting to fall a little bit behind. Not fall behind, but I'm not really comfortable with where it's at, per se. Not super comfortable with where it's at, so... All right, there's a mini prime up. We're just getting a little bit killed a little bit everywhere. Let me go on ahead and see if I can potentially make a play on this mini prime. This blade should help against the countess. Let me grab this really quickly, and then we're going to probably go for this mini prime. No objectives have really been done yet, so... this. Just saw the Countess in the mid. There might be some opportunity to gank this Grux. I would like to do that. Uh, they've seen me here, though. Okay, Countess in the duo. I'm gonna let him run out. Okay, now back it up. Cut it out. That's gonna be a tower for us. Nice. Now that'll be a nice tower for us. We're gonna push this into tier two. They're probably gonna go for Fang too, so we're gonna try to get as much value off of this as we can. Alright, we're gonna shove this into tier two. We'll look for jungle steel out of this as well. The Grux can't respond, they're all over. Thank you. So we get a tier two out of this, which is gonna really open up the map for the gray stone. Really gonna open up the map for the gray stone. All right. Now we're gonna look to see what camps are up. Nothing just yet. The two camp is up. We'll take the two camp. We're gonna use our ice corn pounds just to get this off field really quickly. Pretty short cooldown, so not really a big deal. We have a river here, and I'm actually going to go over and farm up my blue side jungle really quickly. We've opened up that side of the lane, or that side of the map, quite a bit. We will have to contest the next Fangtooth, but I'm, I'm feeling pretty decent about, about how all that played out. And I'm sitting on a very large amount of gold, so I'm going to be able to full buy this Tainted Blade. 
time. I'm actually going to do something a little bit different. I think I'm going to play more on the damage front this end. Like, usually I'll tend to, like, start picking up some armor items. And actually, I'm still going to. What I'm planning on doing is going for an absolution. So that's going to also be a counter build to the Countess. So I think she's kind of a big win condition for them. So we're going to look for an absolution. Um, I'll probably wait the gold for the wraps. And I'm going to build absolution. Now, absolution specifically on crunch is, is pretty good. It's good on a couple other heroes as well. But it's going to give me a little bit of damage mitigation. And, and will help me against the Countess specifically. So uh, we're going to look at that. We're going to look at that. Get this red off field. I would love to attack right lane here. On him here. I'm 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 in this man. Ooh, didn't really use my abilities properly there, but I think I have him. Yeah, didn't really use the abilities properly. I didn't think I was going to empower off that. I wasn't keeping track of it, but that's okay. Countess goes down to Wraith. That's solid. They should be able to take down that turret off that those picks there. And actually, we're going to push a little bit faster with Roombo. Just grab some of that attack speed. So um, I'll get the heroic guard next. I feel like we're in a pretty solid position right now. Okay, see that her red side jungle is coming up. I can look to use this opportunity where she's down to at least take her two camp. The Velika, we have probably out of the mid lane because Velika is going down. Um, so what I'll probably do actually is instead of looking for this invade, I think we're going to go for this uh, mid tower here. We'll go for this mid tower here because we know that the Countess will probably be the only one that can respond. And she's not here immediately. Use my ability just because the augmentation proc can do some damage. So again, augmentation proc is a big spike of damage to towers. So we would actually get that. And I can still look for a two camp invade off this as well. We put some pressure in the lane. I'm going to step into her jungle. She's not even in here, so I'm not exactly sure where she is. But we have an opportunity to steal a little bit more jungle. Going for the red would be a little bit risky. The five camps down. I could go for it. I could go for it as long as I save my right click. My my big dash. We need the nice one pounds for this as well. Alright. We'll take that. So if we, we see that she responded. She's going to step back into our jungle. She's going to find that it's not there. And we have a lot of jungle up on our side. So we're going to go farm our jungle. We're going to be ready for... Fang Tooth. I'm going to pre-ping Fang Tooth to let my team know, hey, look, this is something I'm looking at. I may even stick around or let the Greystone stick around to set the left lane. Um, and I'm looking at buying uh, this kind of magic armor component to my absolution. So yeah, let's wipe this up off the field. And we want to be we want to be ready for Fang Tooth. So I'm letting my team know, hey, look, I'm looking for Fang Tooth. We're going to grab this heroic guard. We're going to head back out on field. Now, my last two items are definitely going to have to be tanky. I need to be able to survive, um, you know, like a big team fight where Grux is running in at me, where the Richter might, you know, catch me in some CC, something like that. Okay, lots of plays around the mid. I might be able to look to wrap in. I don't want to step over that ward, even though I know that we could deward it. I don't really want them to know that I'm here just at the moment. I might be able to wrap, wrap this race. So, look, I'm going to uh, press my Q to queue it up, like to actually get it ready. Okay. Okay, I am getting picked out a little bit here. Count us on me. Okay, cool. Not bad. Not bad. What we're going to do is we're going to go grab this river. I want to get that off field while we're just poking a little bit. And we do have this fang tooth right now. We're going to press my Q to get it ready, just in case the Countess steps in. I can actually dash in towards her. Oh, they're in a kind of interesting position. All right. We're in here on the Countess. I'm looking for a knockup on the Richter. He's my closest target. We take the Richter down. I'm going to go start the Fang Tooth. I'm going to go start the Fang Tooth, and then maybe even a mini uh, or a big prime after that as well. Pop our Icecorn Talons. I need to be paying attention to my combat abilities more whenever I'm doing objectives, so try to use the Q if I can. Use my R there. We could potentially go for eh. 
never mind. We'll do we'll do fine. We'll be fine on that. Finish our absolution. We could potentially set up for a prime because they're gonna have to answer the right lane, but everybody would have to be going there now. So if you look at the map, the right lane's pushed. If somebody answers that, like if somebody shows, we could just pull the prime. So I do think that it's like good to potentially set for the prime. See, like they're counting us. Okay, she's not here. I'm just gonna start this. I'm just gonna start this instantly because she, they just can't answer. So you have to find those windows of opportunities. We're gonna step out of the fire. We are gonna get our ice scorn talons down. Now this is how you take the jungle roll and you push it. Our twin blast is DC. That sucks, but it doesn't really matter. Looking for a knock up on the Bellica. Okay, nice. Well done. All right, now we can look to push. I'm gonna look to invade her jungle here. Oh, the Grux here. Found the Grux. I'm just all over Grux at the moment. Very good. Very good. I'm gonna go shove out this lane. Now we have Prime. Prime does heal you, keep that in mind. Um, my next thing I need to build is I'm gonna look and see who's strong on their team. Okay, they have a couple of AD players. Um, I need to be careful of their AD damage. I've already got a little bit of magic armor, so what we're probably gonna do is build a, uh, a physical armor item. So we'll take a look at what physical armor items we want. I could go in a few different directions. I think Stonewall would be really good against Countess and Grux, so I'm probably gonna go with a Stonewall. Next, also giant swing, really phenomenal item for crunch, uh, but we're gonna we're gonna stick with a stone wall this game. We'll give ourselves some of that physical mitigation, and then stun the countess and the grux off of me potentially whenever I get low. So, uh, all right, we're shoving this in as they're shoving that in. Again, you can use an ability for augmentation procs. I'm watching the cooldown of augmentation. Use an ability for augmentation proc. Use an ability for augmentation proc, and we're actually gonna flash out of this. So. We'll pop our ice corn talons, try to dodge a hook potentially. Okay, cool. Good response from the team. And now I can just play off the prime healing. That's a little sus. I was gonna try to see if I could get that tower. We'll walk this in here. Again, step back. Work towards the center now. Ninety seconds on orb. We don't have another objective coming up. I'm gonna go play off the right lane because my teammates can rotate over, so I can play off clearing this wave here. Don't be afraid to use your hunt when sieging as well. If I don't need it for anything, then I can use it to clear. So again, use an ability augmentation proc. Use an ability augmentation proc. Use an ability augmentation proc. And as they're fighting here, I can look at the Belica. I'll chase after him. I don't mind. Very good. And that's the game. Augmentation proc. Use an ability. Augmentation proc. And you can see that little burst damage that happens with it. That's the game. All right, friends. The early game was really aggressive. She actually kind of plateaued and or, or like got out of her issue and, and found some strength for herself. So drop a like on the video. Let me know if you learned something in the comment section down below. That's about what I'm thinking with Crunch. You really want to be aggressive in the early game with him, not just invading, but trying to get yourself on field around five, six, if you can, maybe even earlier. A um, bit more of an aggressive build and a counter build there, but I was starting to go more into the tanky side to survive some of those team fights, but it looks like we locked it in. So thank you so much for watching. As always, be sure to be kind of love them. I'll see you on the next video.